Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand theta notation examples. We're going to take the, uh, an algorithm example. We'll try to understand. And the mathematical description about the theta notation has already been done in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video because without understanding uh, about the mathematical background, you may not be able to understand what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below in this class uh, we will try to understand we'll try to take an example and to this algorithm so this algorithm uh, we will try to find what this algorithm is going to do is this algorithm is to find the maximum element in an array so given an array we are going to find the maximum element in this array what is the maximum element 23 23 is going to be the value that is written by this algorithm uh, uh, it is going to return the maximum element so uh, we will try to first we will try to understand this algorithm and after that we will try to find the time complexity of the algorithm and for that time complexity which notation has to be provided which asymptotic notation has to be provided whether it has to be provided with big o theta or omega if any one of the notation is provided then why only that notation has to be provided that understanding that we will try to understand in this class okay so now uh, what is this algorithm it is an algorithm to find the element uh, maximum element in the array here what what we have done is we have considered the first element so we have taken the max as 0 and this for loop is going to iterate from 0 to n minus 1 0 to 4 here 5 times it is going to iterate and in each iteration it is going to compare uh, uh, a of i's value in the first iteration 9 is getting compared with max max means 0 so is it true yes 9 is greater than 0 so initially we have considered the max as 0 and now 9 is greater than 0 so we, we it is true so we are going to come into this and now the uh, the latest maximum value is going to be 9 in that way this loop is going to iterate and this maximum value is going to be 23 so at this iteration at i is equal to 3 the new max value will become 23 and at the end of this algorithm max will be returned means 23 will be returned the maximum value is 23 now what is the time complexity of this algorithm so this step is going to iterate for one time uh, so in this entire algorithm in the entire running of this algorithm this step will execute only for one time and this one will get executed for n plus 1 try to get that so n plus 1 why n plus 1 we have discussed lot number of times okay so 5 plus 1 6 iterations 6 times this program will get executed iterations will be 5 and the sixth one is going to be uh, whether this is true so it is going to be failed and uh, uh, we are going to come out of this for loop and how many times this one will get executed every time we come into this loop this one will get executed n times and in this case how many times does this line of code will get executed in this case in this case how many times will it get executed one two three so this line uh, these two for these two this one will this one will not get executed because uh, this condition is going to be failed this condition fails so this one will get executed for three times and the next one is this one this line of code will get executed one time what is the total time complexity it is uh, 2n plus 2n plus 4 5 6 2n plus 6 is the time complexity now now from now on so one more thing that we are going to consider is from now on wherever we give we we, uh, we get this time complexity wherever we get this time complexity what we are going to do is we are we are going to discard these constant values and this also we are going to discard we are going to discard only the upper uh, uh, rate of growth so in this rate of growth we are going to consider the upper value for example if the equation is 3n square plus uh, 2n plus 7 if this is the equation if, we, if this is the time complexity n square means loop in a loop so we'll try to understand lots of examples so uh, if this is the given uh, given function from now on the time complexity or the efficiency of the algorithm is only the upper uh, uh, 
upper uh, upper uh, value this one so this one is the highest among all this so this is the time complexity so from now on uh, we are going to consider only the only this uh, uh, upper value okay now it is n okay now which notation has to be provided whether it has to be provided with big o or with omega or with theta so it has to be provided with theta why theta it is theta of n why theta why theta means exact bound again in the previous video we have discussed about this as exact bound exact bound means whatever the input that is given whatever the input that is given to this algorithm every time it is going to execute all it is going to do all the comparisons every time it is going to be this loop is going to be executed for all the all the values of n so n time this loop will every time get executed exactly get executed n number of times try to get that point exactly it is going to do all the comparisons whatever the input for example if you change this array if you change this array to uh, 7 6 4 uh, 9 22 size also 20 34 9 uh, uh, and it is uh, uh, 23 so the size has been changed the array values has been changed so what what happens is here the n value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the size of the array is 8 elements so if you give this input as uh, uh, if you give this array as the input to this algorithm this is going to iterate this for loop is going to iterate for n times here the value of n is size of the array size of the array is 8 so whatever the size of an array whatever the values that are there in the array every time this loop is exactly so this algorithm is going to iterate for exactly n number of times so the exact bound is provided by theta notation that explanation has been provided in our previous video so in that case in, for such kind of algorithms we can provide the asymptotic notation as theta we can provide this 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 time complexity this function uh, can be changed in, into this and this can be provided as theta notation exact bound why not big o why in what cases we are going to give the big o whenever we we were not able to uh, uh, for each for each input if this iterations we are not going to be uh, we are not we were not able to describe the number of iterations that are done by this for loop so the example that has been taken is finding the uh, what is the example that we have taken uh, it is the uh, the example that we have taken is in the big one notation uh, that is finding an element in an array for example if you want to find two for example if you find to 2 this for loop is going to iterate only for three times so as we don't know how many times that does this for loop is going to iterate the number of iterations or only uh, the the uh, the number of times this algorithm is going to run the efficiency of this algorithm is dependent upon this for loop so about this one line codes we are not going to consider that's why we have taken only the value of n it means only about this for loop okay so now uh, if if you are not sure if if uh, uh, finding the element in an array we are not sure about how many times that does that for loop is going to be iterated if you are not sure and we we know the upper bound at most in worst case it has to run uh, at most n number of comparisons that we are sure about so in that case if the algorithms are behavior behaving in that way then we can give that notation we can notate that algorithm with big o notation big o gives the upper bound okay big o gives the upper bound about omega no algorithms are there in this entire course we don't have any algorithms with omega notation but about theta notation if that algorithm is iterating all the is doing all the n number of notations then that has to be provided with theta notation okay 
so that has to be provided with theta notation this point is the entire essence of uh, this point upper bound and the exact bound is the entire essence of this asymptotic notations the meaning that is there with the what kind of algorithm is it so asymptotic notations will describe the behavior of an algorithm what is the behavior of that algorithm uh, uh, that can be understood by using these notations if big o is there means it is giving the upper bound so which means that the algorithm at most it is going to do these many number of comparisons in some cases there are some possibilities of so it is going to be like uh, uh, between the uh, uh, it is not going to cross this upper bound so we have seen graphically okay the graphical uh, uh, the graphic uh, uh, it means uh, the graph has been uh, shown in our previous videos based upon that i am explaining that okay so this is all about uh, theta notation examples and uh, uh, hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching